Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a jump server. Now, why would you wanna know how to set up a jump server? Well, a jump server allows you to connect to other servers that are hosted in private subnets and that are closed off to the internet. So for example, this server right here is in a private subnet with a private IP, but it doesn't have a public IP in which you can remote into. With this server, it has both a public and a private IP address, and it has a port 3389 so that you can remote in via the public internet into this server, and then you can jump from this server to any other server within this private subnet or any other private subnet. So let's get started. So the first thing you'll need is a resource group. I already went ahead and created one. I have this one called Azure Demo. All right. There's no resources in here right now. We'll go ahead and create the demo VM or the VM that's gonna be in the private subnet. Go ahead and create that virtual machine. We will call it, we'll put it in the Azure demo, call it demo VM. We'll keep it in the East US. And let me go ahead and change that password. All right, um, everything else looks fine. Uh, disks will look fine. Let's go to networking. In this part of the networking, you need to make sure that none is selected so that we don't have a public IP that gets automatically created, but we will want to head edit, edit the virtual network. I'm going to go ahead and change this name to subnet A. And, or you know what, we'll call it uh, uh, private subnet. No, subnet A is fine. Subnet A, go ahead and copy that, change it to subnet B, and we will change that to one. So now we have subnet A. Subnet A is where this VM is gonna go into, and then subnet B is where our jump server is gonna go into. Hit OK. All right, uh, inbound ports, all right, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and go to review and create. All right, so this is gonna go ahead and create your VM and your network um, for the private subnets, uh, subnet A and B. So we'll come back when everything gets deployed and move on with deploying and creating the jump server. All right, the VM's done deploying. We'll go ahead and go back to here, virtual machines. We'll go ahead and create our uh, virtual machine for the jump server. We'll select the same Azure demo uh, resource group. We'll call it jump server, put it in the same region, and we'll go ahead and change this password again. All right, make sure that's all good. Everything looks good. Go back to networking. Uh, we have to ensure that this does have a public IP, so this public IP is good. We don't want to put it in subnet A, we want to put it in subnet B, which is why we created subnet B in the last deployment. Um, all right, everything else looks good. Go ahead and review and create. Once the validation is done, it's going to go ahead and deploy the VM. We'll hit create, and then we'll come shortly back. Uh, we'll come right after the deployment's done. All right, our uh, deployment finished. So now we can go to virtual machines. We've got two virtual machines and they're both in the running state. I'm gonna go to the jump server now and wait for that to load. Go to networking, go to inbound RDP rule. Now there are inbound port rules, outbound port rules, application load balancing. Make sure you're in the inbound port rule. Select the RDP rule. We're gonna change the source to IP address. And can you guys guess what source IP address you're gonna to wanna to select? Um, give you a second, okay. You're gonna to wanna to select your IP address. So this is mine. Go ahead and select that, put that. All right, um, so we'll do a slash 32 and we'll do any port ranges and the destination, we're gonna to wanna to change it to IP addresses. Can you guys guess what this would be? Well, it would have to be the IP address of the jump server. So we can click on, we can go to open up a new tab, go to virtual machines, we can get the jump server IP address from just the overview. Let's go ahead and grab it right here, put it in 
right here. So what you're doing here is essentially this is an inbound port rule. You're configuring your IP address, this the source the IP address, to the destination IP address, which is this. And you're allowing right here, the action is allow. We'll hit a priority. We'll keep it at 300. That's fine. And we'll hit save. We'll allow that to update. It might take a second or two, so we'll come back when it's done. All right, the network security group was successfully updated. We'll go ahead and grab this IP address while we're here, and we're going to go ahead and move on to setting up the demo VM uh, network security group. We'll click on RDP. We're going to want to change this one also to IP address. The source is going to be the private IP address of the jump server. Again, this is establishing inbound connection from the jump server over to the demo VM. All right, we're going to hit destination and we're going to select virtual network. This will allow us to connect anything from the jump server to the demo VM. And that's exactly why we're uh, leaving this as star. Star means any, any port configuration um, that exists will allow us to connect from our source, which is our, again our server, uh, jump server, into our demo VM. And we can leave everything else the same. We'll hit save. Again, this is going to take another minute, so we'll come back when this is fully uh, deployed and done. All right, the security rule was successfully updated. So now we've got inbound connection from the jump server to the demo VM, and we should be able to go to our jump server. Let's go ahead and go to overview, connect. We'll RDP into our jump server. Uh, we'll hit connect. We're gonna use the Azure user account, Azure user and we will use the uh, password we set up in the deployment go ahead at OK wait for that to deploy now this is gonna take a second so I'm gonna go ahead and wait for all the service manage server manager and all the prereqs to load once this is fully loaded we'll come right back all right, the server fully loaded. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this is the same jump server. We'll hit uh, command prompt, host name. All right, we're currently in the jump server. Now, I got a question. How are we gonna be able to connect into the demo VM or the VM basically that's in the private subnet? Can you guys take a guess? I'll let you guess. All right, time's up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Uh, we're gonna use RDP from the jump server to connect into the private subnet uh, VM. And we'll go ahead and go to the demo VM, grab the private address. Again, this one does not have a public address, as you can see here, does not have a public address. We'll go back into the VM, grab that IP address, and paste it in there if it would want to work, because it doesn't. We'll just input it manually. Hit connect, type in our user credentials that we set up. Go ahead and grab that password and hit remember me. All right, hit yes. And now it's going to load the demo VM. Uh, we'll come back when it's fully loaded. All right, the VM is fully loaded. Uh, we'll go ahead and run the same command. All right, as you can see right here, this is demo VM. Now it's still gonna show this IP address on your RDP uh, simply because we are technically connected via the jump server, which that's the jump server's public IP address. And then we'll just go back here and I'll just show you that I haven't mysteriously added a IP address, a public IP address to it. Still doesn't have a public IP. Again, we're connected via the private IP address and we'll even run IP config all. All right, your IP address is just this one and then your default gateway and all the other stuff, but that's it. There's no other IP address that's hosted. Uh, well, thank you. I hope you guys learned something and uh, thank you for watching.